Pakistan is headed towards a general election on February 8, 2024. Political parties will compete on a total of 272 electable National Assembly seats and 592 provincial seats across four provinces. But where will the most national level political parties focus all their political capital on? Let's zoom out and take a look at Punjab province. The age-old adage of Pakistani politics has held, whoever wins Punjab wins prime ministership. The province makes up 51% of the total electable seats with 141 seats in total. Lahore being the crown and the jewel alone has the most seats, with many national level parties jostling over the seats of the provincial capital. This is then followed by Faslabad, Pakistan's textile Manchester, where prominent heavyweights try to secure as many seats as possible. Following up the GT Road, Gujranwala, Gujarat, and Rawalpindi combine make up 33 National Assembly seats. Overall, these divisions form the industrial and population heartland of the province. Further to the west and southeast, agricultural and livestock baskets of Sargodha, Sahiwal hold about 20 National Assembly seats. Central Punjab, in the last two elections, has struggled with a higher voter turnout and settled with almost an average of 50% across the province. Broadly, Central and Northern Punjab will prefer a party with a roadmap on the economic and governance front. Further down in the south, three divisions, Bhawalpur, DG Khan, and Multan hold 46 seats in total. We'll witness the contest for South Punjab, which seeks to carve out a distinct identity and agency within the provincial polity, mostly dominated by the Siraiki speaking population and an agrarian economy. While different parties have promised to deliver on it, requisite legal and administrative restructuring measures have fallen short. Thus, making good on this promise will be among the leading agendas of local politics and political parties. Unlike Northern and Central Punjab, the voter turnout in certain constituencies in the previous election stood relatively higher at over 60%. The next election in Punjab will determine who will dominate the political landscape, but also the future trajectory it will take on the redistribution of resources and administration between Central and South Punjab. Most importantly, all eyes will be on voter turnout and whether it is beyond 50% across the province. For such insights on other provinces' dynamics and the agendas that will rank higher in upcoming elections, follow our election explainer series.